caterpillar stitch. Hi guys, I'm Kristen and welcome to Studio Knit, the place where you come to knit and totally fall in love with it. And today is a knit stitch pattern. It's perfect for summer and it's very modern. I love it. It is a caterpillar knit stitch pattern, perfect for uh, dishcloths or anything you can dream of. So let's get started. And because I'm making a dishcloth, I'm using cotton yarn. It is worsted weight number four. I will have a link in the description below and my needles are size seven. We are going to cast on in multiples of six. And I am going to have um, a selvage stitch on either end. So I am casting on in multiples of six. And then I am adding two stitches. You can add as many extra stitches to the sides of your work as you choose. And so here I have the stitch on the side and um, I have my multiples of six. I have four multiples of six right here on my needle and our row one. So this is going to be the right side of our work where you can see the caterpillar. And um, here I'm just, my selvage stitch, I'm just going to slip that off. And now I begin the pattern, which is knit one. And after we knit one, we're going to purl. So that means we bring our yarn around to the front of our needle and we are going to purl five stitches. You can see the pattern on the side right here um, as we go along, so you can keep track of what I'm doing. Um, I also have the full pattern um, down in the description below as well. So we're going to quickly do our five purl stitches, and then after we're done with that, we just repeat until we get to the end of our row. And again, for me, I have one extra little selvage stitch on the end. So here is how it's looking. And row two, we are going to, I'm slipping one off and then I begin the pattern. So I am going to knit five stitches. And if you think about it, we are knitting what we purled on the first row. But you don't need to think too hard. Just go ahead and follow the pattern and you'll be good. <laughs> um, okay, and then we do just one purl stitch here on our wrong side. And we repeat the pattern until we get to the end of our row. And then we just repeat on rows three, four, five, and six, exactly what we did on rows one and two. Here is how the wrong side looks. And our right side, the side that actually shows our caterpillar shaping up is right here. Now our last six rows are essentially the same, but we wanna have our caterpillars um, in between each of the first uh, row of caterpillars that we have. So I'm going to slip off my first little selvage stitch and we're going to begin by purling. So it is going to be purl three. So that way um, we have a little bit of space until we begin the caterpillar portion of our knitting here. And uh, we're gonna get back in focus, take our yarn to have just one knit stitch right there and finish up with purl two. After I do my knit one, um, in my mind, I like to just think of the purling five times and knit one rather than thinking of the P3, P2. Um, that just helps it stay clearer in my head. Uh, do it however you would like as you follow the pattern. Now row eight, very similar. We are knitting two. And then after we're done with that, we are going to purl one right here and coming around, finishing it up with knit three. But again, if you want to think of it, since after knit three, we go back to knit two, you can think of it as knitting five and the purling one. So we just carry on until all 12 rows are done. And here is how it's shaping up. I hope you are inspired to knit up this really cute, fresh caterpillar knit stitch pattern. Make sure to check out all of my other knit stitch patterns. Um, I have lots of fun, beautiful ones to choose from many more to come. And if you have any knitting ideas, 
I love adding them to my list. Uh, so please, in the comments below, let me know if you have any knitting or crafting suggestions um, for us to do here on Studio Knit. Thanks so much, guys. Bye!